Hey guys, welcome to my latest feature packed video. Today I'm going to be exploring something. Have you noticed that when you're playing the blues or you're listening to the blues, that the blues scale itself doesn't quite cut it? Something's missing. I had lessons for over 15 years. I had 15 different teachers, not exactly one a year, but quite a few different teachers over the years. And I never got shown this. I also have a real hard time finding any information on this specifically. There's no specific scale, but I'm telling you it's such an important way to authenticate your blues playing. It's basically a note that's missing from the scale in a lot of examples. I say this because a lot of times I've taught the blues scale and then gone away and looked for examples. There's often this one little note that keeps popping up. Here it is guys, I'm gonna teach it to you today. But first, I just wanna say for my Patreon members, you can actually get several blues licks along with the sound slice files, the scrolling tab, the whole bit. It's like a mini course, guys. Um, that's gonna go up as well just for my Patreon members. It will accompany this video. Um, if you're not a member of the Patreon, consider joining. It's $2 a month if you wanna just go on the bare basic tier, but you pretty much get 95% of the content. It's really a pay what you can set up. So if you can afford a little more, that's great for me and you can feel better about getting great use out of the channel. And there's also going to be a backing track for my Patreon members, so you'll be able to download that, learn the licks, play along with that. Otherwise, sit back, guys. You're going to learn heaps anyway. I'm going to give you the rough idea. If you're a more experienced player, it's going to convert your blue scale. Trust me, it's going to be really, really useful. Also, let me know in the comments if you think I've stumbled across something or I'm putting something useful out there, or is it something some of you guys might already know and think it's obvious? Let me know in the comments. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play my Gretsch. I'm not going to use the one note that I'm going to be adding to the scale. When you see the Telecaster, that's what I'm going to be using the extra note. There's no favoritism towards either guitar. I love them both. That's just the order I did the improvising in. So here we go, guys. Let's see what you think. Okay, so really quickly, let's go through the basic blue scale. I'm gonna play up at the 12th fret, just like in the videotape that you just saw. Videotape, showing my age. So we start at the 12th fret, we go 12, we go backwards, we play the 15, 12, 15 on the third, 14, 12, and then 14 on the fourth string, 12 on the fourth string, and then 15, four, uh, sorry, 14, 13, 12, 15, 12 and that's just a regular blue scale obviously we can play that forward as well but all I'm really doing to make it completely different is I'm adding what we call a major third so I've done lessons on the mixolydian scale with the minor third this is a much simpler way to catch that sound very quickly and it's a little less complicated you can even just use a basic pentatonic scale and we take the third, which occurs here on the 15th fret. There. Occurs again there on the 12th fret of the third string. Again on the 15th fret of the sixth string. And we're back there. Obviously, if you're using the blue scale, that third is in the same spot. That doesn't change. Now, what we're doing is we're taking that third and we're just sliding up one. Or hammering up, however you want to do it. slide up to the 16 and the 12 and of course anywhere that the pentatonic shape or the minor blues shape I should say occurs we can do this so even if I want to do do it differently like for example so anyway it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what angle you're moving on or shifting around the neck we can play the minor third into the major third and then 
off to whatever else you want to do. You can go anywhere. And you'll notice that that lick is most often played from the minor third to the major third, even in a descending scenario. I do apologize if you can hear drums. There's a drum lesson occurring next door, which I'm all for. Music education, people. I'm not going to get in the way of that. So the summary of this is basically if you take a blue scale and you just add the natural third into that blue scale, generally setting, we can do it backwards too. That's okay, but often you hear all the great blues players, Muddy Waters, even right back to Charlie Christian, even Django Reinhardt did this, Chet Atkins, all those guys. I mean, we're, we're getting broad there, uh, but all of these guys, BB King, they all use that so much in their playing, yet there's no scale that centers around it. So I almost want to name the scale, like, I don't know, the authentic blues scale. You know, it needs a name. Maybe someone in the comments can come up with that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure if you're a member of the Patreon, go learn the licks with the sound slice, the scrolling tabs. It's a beautiful thing. Like I said, it's like a mini course. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll catch you in the next video.